Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing how to draw Doggo from Fortnite. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So we move over to the left side and draw in a circle. We start from the very top, work our way down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now we want to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of the circle. And we're going to come down to the same height and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to add the eyelid on top of the eyes. Starting from the left side, we're going to draw a curve that comes a little bit lower in the center and then back down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw a small circle on the inside of the eye for the pupil. So let's start on the left side. And we're going to line this up on the right side and do the same thing. On the top left of each pupil, we're going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Now from the inside edge of the left eye, we're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then back down on the right side, all the way to the top, and then bring that down. Now we're gonna step down and draw the bridge of the nose. Starting from the left, we're gonna draw a half circle, going up and then back down on the right. Now from here, we're gonna curve in and then down towards the center point. So on the left, we'll curve in and then down, curve that up and out towards the right. Now I'm going to draw a small half circle on the left side for the nostril. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Now from that bottom point, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down towards the top of the mouth. Now from here, I'm going to curve the mouth. I'm going to curve out and pull that down. Let's go back to the top and curve in the opposite direction. Curve out and then down towards the same height. Now I'm going to move back up and draw on the brow. Starting from the left side of the eye, I'm going to curve up higher in the top and then pull that down on the inside of the eye. Do the same thing on the right, curving up towards the top, and then down on the side. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the top of the head. Directly above the left eye, we're gonna step up here, we're gonna draw a curve that goes up in the middle, and then back down on the right side. And then from here, we're gonna curve out, and then down towards the side of the head. Bring that down to right about there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Now from here we're going to curve down and in towards the center. We're going to leave a gap in the middle. So start on the left, curve down, and just pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curving down, and then in. We're going to close out the bottom with a straight line from left to right. Now from the bottom corners of the nose, I'm going to curve out and over underneath the eye same thing on the right side. Now from that same point, we're going to curve around the cheeks and then down. Pull that down towards the bottom edge of the hood. Now we're going to tuck the lower eyelid underneath the muzzle. Starting from the side of the eye, we're going to curve down and taper it in. And do the same thing on the right side. We're going to fill those in black. Now from the bottom, we're going to step up and draw on the chin. Starting from the left, we're going to curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right. Let's add the dog tag. Leaving a gap in the center, we draw two straight lines on either side. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now let's move back up and draw some wrinkles in the forehead. Starting from the center, just up above the muzzle, we're going to draw a straight line going up towards the top. Now we're going to step over towards the left, curve up, and then out. Go to the right side and do the same thing, curving up and then out. Now we're going to go back in and fill the upper eyelid in black. Now 
Now we're gonna move out and draw on the outside of the hood. We're just gonna trace this curve along the top. So we step up, just trace this along the top, leave an even space gap all the way across. Now we're gonna come down the side. Now from here, we're gonna pull this down a little bit lower in the center. So from the left, we're gonna curve down, come down a little bit lower in the middle. Do the same thing on the right, curving down and then in. Now we're gonna close off the bottom with another straight line. Let's add two drawstrings on either side. Starting from this bottom point on the left, draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're just gonna close off the bottom with a short line. And we'll pull this back up underneath the hood. Now we're gonna have the arms tucked inside the pocket. So let's start on the left side of the head. We're gonna round up the arm, going out, and then pulling that back in. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. We're gonna curve out, round up the arm, and then pull that back in. We'll draw the inside edge of the pocket. From the left side, we're gonna curve in, and then up on both sides. Now I wanna draw a straight line going across in behind the drawstring. Starting from the left, go in behind, go in between, then over towards the right. We'll move back down. We're gonna connect these two points with a curve, coming down and then back up. Let's go back up and draw on the top of the arm. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve this out and then up. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the top corner of the pocket, I'm gonna step out just on top of the arm and draw a short line going up on either side. Now we wanna draw some stripes going in an angle across the body. So we start from the top of the pocket, we're gonna step down, angle up, and then continue up underneath the head. Let's step down, draw that same angled line, going up, in behind the drawstring, and up towards the outside of the arm. Step down again, in behind the drawstring, we'll continue up over the arm. Now we step down one more time, go over towards the pocket, now we're going to go to the outside of the arm, we're going to curve across and then down. Now we're going to add one more line along the bottom here, going across. Now from the center we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel. Go to the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the heel, curve down and up towards the toe. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from the toe, we're gonna to curve the top of the foot. We're gonna curve up, curve this around now. We're gonna to aim towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right, curving up towards the top of the foot and then aiming towards the heel. Let's move back up to the hips and draw the side of the leg. Start from the bottom corner of the pocket. We're gonna curve out, round out the leg and then pull that in towards the top of the foot. The same thing on the right side. From the top of the foot, we're gonna step up and draw the edge of the boot. Starting from the left, curve down and up towards the inside of the leg. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now just up above the edge of the boot, we're gonna step up, curve up and then out on both sides. Now just underneath the hips on either side, we're gonna draw a curve coming down and then out. Let's go back down and thicken up the sole. I want to take this curve, step up. I'm just going to follow that all the way across on both sides. And then the last thing we're going to do is add the laces on the boot. Starting from the left, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down side by side. Do the same thing on the right. And then on the inside, we're going to add two horizontal lines, one above the other. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Doggo from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.